Certainly great to welcome you back to Get Connected. You know we love connecting you with people on the know and get some advice on life, particularly about people that have found their true passion. John Lear is one of them. He's a comedian, improv. He's got his second season coming up of Quick Draw. And John, how excited are you? Well, I mean, you know, how often does a comedian get to shoot a gun and ride a horse and, you know, do... And I, I even <laughs> they even let me do some of my own stunts, which is, at first I thought was great. Now I know why stuntmen do what they do. Uh, but yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, we're outside. We're It's every kid's dream. Be a cowboy. Okay, John. How did performing in the Meow Show help prepare you to be a better cowboy? <laughs> You've done your research. Uh, the Meow Show was... Um, a, an improv show at Northwestern University when I and when I was a sophomore I auditioned for it and I couldn't believe that I'd never really experienced improv like that where you could just say whatever you wanted to say and I it just blew my mind I was like I must do this for the rest of my life only later I learned that you know you can't make a living doing it essentially so I came out to LA <laughs> to get health insurance well John it's also paid off in some great roles but it's interesting the two most famous roles that we know you in is obviously this one, a Western set a hundred years ago, but then you played the caveman for Geico commercials. Is that your uh, specialty, historical comedian? Yeah, well with the Geico caveman gig, I was, you know, very old, uh, uh, <laughs> thousands of years old. I, you know, I had never drawn, uh, drawn that connection, um, Con, but um, yeah, you're right. You're right. Maybe I'm like a historical comedian. Uh, I mean, I was a huge Monty Python fan growing up, and they did a lot of historical comedy, so maybe that's that's it there. The Geico Caveman gig, you know, was fantastic because I'm probably the most unrecognizable famous man in the world. Um, and it, they let me improvise a lot, and, you know, it was three hours to put the makeup on and an hour to take it off, and and I did like, I don't know, 25 national spots. So it was a fantastic gig. I love Geico uh, almost as much as I love Hulu. <laughs> uh, and so now I'm doing Quick Draw. And uh, I hope people will check it out. It's on Hulu. And a lot of people have asked me, can I watch it for free? And yes, you can. If you go to Hulu.com on your computer, you can watch Quick Draw for free. Well, that's certainly good to know, John. Pleasure talking with you. You've had tremendous success. Uh, just curious what you would share with us that you've learned on your journey that served you well. You know, do what you love. And, and I, you know, personally, the thing that drives me is making my own stuff. You know, I write and produce Quick Draw as well. So for me, it's about making my own work, you know, and uh, there's just tremendous satisfaction in that. Uh, so even if you're making something that's up on YouTube, you know, that you did for free, you know, just go out and shoot something. That's my recommendation. Well, John, best of all, you followed your own advice. We get to enjoy all the entertainment value. So cool for second season of Quick Draw, one you wrote, produced, and acted in on Hulu. Thanks for joining us. Con, thanks for uh, this. I really appreciate you helping me get the word out.